I spend way too much time at my desk, so getting active has been on my mind lately. I hope you have plans to work out this weekend. Physical activity has immediate benefits for your brain. So easy to get into a fitness slump. I am way too tired for this. All my New Year's resolutions to get fit, get my steps in, drink more water, fix my posture, get strong, they've all just kind of fell through. To be honest, I live a pretty sedentary life. A life with lots of sitting, lying down, more sitting, you get the point. And that can contribute to various, very preventable illnesses, so I know something needs to change. That's why in today's video, we're going to be getting a gym membership and going to the gym every day for one week and trying to incorporate some desk-friendly exercises into my working from home routine to see if there's any real mental or physical changes that are worth it. We're gonna be doing a low intensity strength and weight focused workout with some cardio and adding in some sort of mobility stretches and exercises at my desk. Over the course of this week, I'll be heading to my local gym. They have fully decked out gym, a sauna, a swimming pool. I'll maybe be trying out some of that and I'll be having an active rest day in between. At the end of this video, I'll go over some tips on how I overcame my gym anxiety and how I plan to keep sticking to the routine. Let's begin. Good morning. It is 7 a.m. and I'm feeling rough. I usually wake up at 8.59, roll out of bed, go to my desk and that's it. But today we're doing something different. It is a Monday and we are starting one week of waking up to go to the gym. I don't get anxious about a lot of things but going to the gym is one of them. The weights are massive. I don't know, what, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. We're gonna drag ourselves to the gym, get over our gym anxiety, try to create a little bit of a habit, a little bit of a routine. I need a routine in my life. God knows I need a routine in my life. So I'll give you another update when we're there. Let's go. Day one, I had some advice on how to use the machines and a little workout plan made for me, so that made things a lot easier. But I still felt really awkward, like I stuck out like a sore thumb. Apart from the fact that I literally feel like throwing up, I did pretty well and I feel okay. Like, I don't feel terrible. I just want to throw up. <sighs> Hold up. I need to pee. The feeling of wanting to puke is being replaced with a really satisfied feeling. Like, I'm really proud of myself. Still a little bit nauseous. My body's fighting me here. I got all of that out the way before 9 a.m. I feel motivated. I've set the tone for my day and the tone is getting shit done. I really need a shower, but I'll just quickly run you through what I did at the gym. I did bench press, the leg press, these ones. I did rows, and I finished off with an inclined run. The inclined run took me out. I have a feeling I'll probably need a nap at around two because my body is not used to waking up and being active at this time. Later that day, I started with the desk-friendly exercises and stretches to fix my posture. No more slouching. Google recommended to do seated spinal rotations, shoulder stretches, neck stretches, dips, and lunges. So I'm gonna be trying to do that as well every day along with going to the gym. And since we're talking about healthy desk habits, I put this little spongy pad thing underneath my wrist to help with using my mouse because I know it's better for your wrists to do that. If anyone can recommend me a better wrist rest, please let me know in the comments. For now, I'm using this sponge I got from Tesco. Morning update. Don't know why these updates are always in the bathroom, but they just are. I'm starting to feel the effects of yesterday's workout on my body. I know that if I'm doing the same workout today, it's gonna target those areas and it's gonna suck. This is the fit for the day. Day two, I had a lovely morning walk. Look at that sunrise. Boom. She's beautiful. I forgot what weight I did last time, so I was kind of just winging it, feeling out what weight felt right to me. Um, I drank a lot of water this day on water bottle number two. I felt more confident. I felt familiar with the workout. At least I wasn't shooting myself this time, so I count that as progress. And I actually managed to push myself a little bit with the weights. There's me putting it up one more notch because I felt, you know, capable. I can do this. 
yeah, good day. Then I went home and started work and of course did my little at my desk stretches. I'm not gonna show them every single day, but yeah, I just, I did these every day. I'm not gonna lie, I did feel really silly doing these sometimes, especially if it was in between meetings. Like I have five minutes until another meeting and I just have to quickly shove my chair out the way and do lunges. But I think it actually really helped my body cool down from the workouts I was doing every day. Good morning. Um, I'm really, really tired. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. This is what I'm wearing. Let's do some little plats. Let's go to the gym. That's me done the workout, I'm just walking back. I am really proud of myself, so let's go get a little snack. My muscles really really hurt <laughs> I don't think you're meant to work out like consecutive days the same exercises so I think tomorrow I'm gonna take a rest day but an active rest day I'll go on a bike ride or something good morning I am way too tired for this I was up till 2am playing Hogwarts Legacy with some friends so I'm feeling a bit rough I thought we'd try some pre-workout I haven't tried pre-workout in like over a year since my last workout phase. I'll keep you updated on how I feel. Cheers. Let's put on a gym outfit. Today, I bought a swimsuit because I wanted to try out the swimming pool and the sauna. I just thought it'd be nice and refreshing after a workout. I didn't really get many clips of my workout today, but here's me feeling all strong and toned and fit after my workout. Then I headed to the showers, showered off, tried my new swimsuit on, and it felt like a glove. The sauna made me feel really woozy and lightheaded. I left early, but it's all good. I started to pack away my stuff and then I realized my swimsuit is wet, but I remembered that my gym has this cool little instant dryer thing. I don't know if this is commonplace in gyms, but this is the first time I've ever seen it. It's so cool. You just put it in the little bowl and then close the lid. Within 10 seconds, it's dry. Like there, it's dry, insane. I went back, got myself some lunch. Just back from the gym, I got my chicken for a salad. I've got some more salad ingredients in the cupboard, so we'll see what we can make. I am a hungry, hungry girl lately. Chicken, got mayo, we got chickpeas and croquettes. Good morning, this is day four or five. Kind of losing track now. It's a Saturday and I stayed up last night quite late having drinks with friends. It's like 10 a.m., but it's still the morning. It's still the a.m., so it counts. It feels like I'm actually building a routine here. I'm building a habit. I wake up in the mornings now and my body's like, what's going on? Are we working out? My, my muscles are like ready to fire, which I don't know if it's a placebo effect or if it's real, but it feels real. My muscles probably hurt the most today out of all the days. And it's because I started taking note of what weights I was doing. I was kind of just feeling for the weights beforehand, but now I'm taking notes of exactly the weights that I'm doing and trying to push and progressive overload. That's my update. This is what's left of my breakfast. <gasps> oh, that was a good save. It's good. It'll fuel us at the gym, because who wants to go to the gym on an empty stomach? Not me. <laughs> Thank you.
Let's get a bubble tea. I'm just back from the gym. I'm feeling really good. I feel way more confident now than I ever have before in the gym. I feel really confident on the machines that I know. There's still some machines that I'm like, what the fuck does that do? And then I see someone using it and I'm like, oh, that's how you use it. And I feel like I'm unlocking them as I go, which makes it feel like a game, makes it even more fun. And my posture is already better. When I'm sitting at my desk, my shoulders wanna go back, my head wants to be up. Um, I don't wanna slouch as much because it actually hurts more to slouch now that my muscles are being strengthened into their proper place. It hurts more to slouch at my desk. And I was kind of hoping that would happen. I know like weightlifting and strength training can fix your posture, but I never expected it to be this fast. Crazy. We fired through day six, feeling really good, adding a big cycle to the end of my workout as cardio. Then we're onto the finale. Good morning. Another day, another workout. This is day seven, the final day of going to the gym. We had one little rest day back there, so a total of eight days in this challenge. However, this is not the last day of working out. After my seven days trying this out, I will be making this part of my routine. Hopefully this is gonna become a habit in my life. There is just so many benefits that I didn't expect, like side effect benefits, such as fitting in a whole workout before I even start my working day makes me feel so much more motivated to make the rest of the day like the best day ever. My posture is better, like I said yesterday, I'm not slouching at my desk anymore. It feels better to, to just sit up and be upright in my desk. I'm drinking more water, I'm actually making it priority to like take water to my desk when I'm working. My body image is better. Not that there's been any <laughs> intense physical changes, I just feel like better about like the capability of my body. The confidence, through the roof. From the first day of this challenge, day one, compared to now, I think you can see a difference in my demeanor. Even when I look back at that footage of day one, I'm like, shit. I look so drained and now I feel like I'm just like glowing from within. Day seven, let's do it. I'm excited to go to the gym. Let's go. My body is so tired. I feel like my body's a little bit in shock because I have not committed to working out like this in my life. At the same time, waking up earlier has become so much easier. I've worked my body in the day. I get a really good deep sleep. And then I wake up early the next morning, fresh and ready to go again. It's fixed my sleeping schedule. It's fixed my posture at my desk. I also noticed that when I'm working, if I take, you know, every hour just to do like a little bit of stretching and movement and taking my eyes and my mind off my work, I come back and I'm just so much more alert and productive. And because I'm expending so much energy at the gym, I'm drinking more water, I'm eating better food to fuel myself. It's just a chain reaction. So that's sort of more the physical changes. Onto the mental changes, I feel really confident in my strength. I know I said that before, but I just wanna reiterate that again. Like, I'm stronger than I thought I was in the mindset that I'm so weak, I can't lift that weight, but you can't. So I have this confidence and, and assuredness in myself and my body's abilities, more mental clarity and cleared up like any brain fog, brain fog, brain fog, like creative block that I was going through. My levels of gym anxiety have plummeted. Like I barely get any gym anxiety anymore. And that's only after seven days. And I used to get gym anxiety to the point where I'd go to the bathroom and cry. That's a huge mental shift for me. The main thing that helped my gym anxiety was knowing someone that's already comfortable in the gym and having them introduce me the first time. Tell me all the areas, give me a rundown on a few machines that I can learn and create an easy workout plan for me. This means that when I go by myself, I already know where I'm going and what I'm doing. How I plan to keep this going is journaling about the positive effects and benefits that I'm feeling now and re revisiting that when I feel less motivated. And for the desk exercises while I'm working from home, I set a little alarm on my Fitbit or on my phone that reminds me every two hours or so to do that. That's it for this video. That's it for the challenge. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something and thank you for coming on this little journey with me. It's been actually transformative for me. Thank you guys again for 11K 
subscribers. I love you guys so much. Like, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for spending time out of your day to do this with me. If you actually made it to this part of the video, comment a pineapple emoji. See you next time.